and I'm enjoying here. hey welcome back to my channel this is part two of the accra vlog and yes we also went a bit to the eastern region as well so stay tuned our trip today starts from yes when you see this lighthouse you know it's jamestown we wanted to take a tour up to the tower but unfortunately it was not possible because currently there's a dispute about who manages it i believe so we were not able to do that but we walked through jamestown so come along guys come along to part one of this vlog so this is the brazil house or brazilian house beautiful house and we also got a mini tour from the grandma who lives there it was nice you know the finish I don't like true. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then as it comes, And this is also where the Chalewote Festival takes place. So the paintings you see there are also from the Chalewote Festival in Jamestown. And then we went on to the Jamestown Cafe. Beautiful place. So then we walked down from Jamestown to so like the other part of Accra, down the high streets where you see the the courts, the high courts, and all of that. And also we got to the next part of this vlog being the Kwame Nkrumah Mausoleum and also the Black Star Square or the Independence Square. But first, of course, we need coconuts. <laughs> Sorry guys, I've not reached you guys in a while, but this is the Accra vlog. We just got to the Kwame Nkrumah Museum or Memorial Center or Mirror Park, and finding this place was not hard. We just walked down from Jamestown, so you are going to put in some videos of Jamestown, and I just bought some bookmarks as well. My lipstick is gone. I've been drinking coconut. <laughs> yes, and because of the mask, you can see a little bit. Hey. The weather today is better, it's not too hot, so we're just cruising around and enjoying ourselves and doing the tour I've always wanted to do of Accra. I've been to Accra a lot of times, I've never done this touristic thing, so it's really fun. So that's the, we're just going to go to the Mycelium now, and then we'll do the Black Star Square or the Independence Square as it was called priorly, priorly, prior to the new name. So yeah, so people are drumming over there. But yes, Accra has been nice. Safari was good. Tamale was nice. If you've not watched the Tamale vlog, go and watch it. If you've not watched the Safari or Western Region vlog, go and watch that as well. I have other things to show you guys too. So join us, join us. So that's the little behind me. So this is the car that the first president of Ghana used to drive. And Kwame Nkrumah is the person or one of the leaders who fought for Ghana's independence. So if you don't know about that, that's why this place is so important. There is a museum that has his clothes and other things um, showing them all as well. But if you want to go there, you should. It is nice to watch and I think it was free as well. So go in there and have a look. And unfortunately, you cannot film that. That's why I didn't have that. But by this time, we have already um, come to the Independence Square 
for the black star square and it was also very nice we had a guide and you see him in a bit but it was a nice experience too So from that place, we went to Tata's house. We had a nice meal. Unfortunately, I finished the meal before I took pictures. So this is the first place we went to to get drinks. And then we changed to Pinocchio. Enjoy oh, our interaction, actually, guys. Um, and with Brian Brown, Tata's. Just for people to see how the place looks. Oh, but that's here, what we say. Five that we cannot say something. Say something. Say something. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Enjoyment, please. Enjoyment, all the enjoyment that you can think about. Yes. Yeah. Again. <laughs> As Tata said, all the enjoyment is in Ghana, so we continued the enjoyment trip and we went to Royal Senchi. Royal Senchi was an amazing experience, guys. It was. It was really nice, such a roomy, airy place. You can just relax, have a drink, eat, spend the night if you want to. And everything had this African touch to it. Oh, I love how they serve the food in this earthen um, clayware. Oh, it was nice, it was really nice. And it's so well done. Like everything you see from their ad, they actually have it. That's one thing I loved about it. Cause sometimes you see their ads and they are not what they actually promise, but these people, actually keep to their word everything they promised you you get it so look at this environment look at this paradise and after that we went on the boat we're cruising so stay tuned don't click away keep watching and if you have not yet subscribed please do like this video and comment down below what you think of the last part of the vlog so far But it was really nice here. Yeah. So no.
Das gehört dazu, oder? Ja. So, that's us on the boat cruise going under the Adami Bridge. You see, yes, this is us under the Adami Bridge. And the Adami Bridge goes over the Akosombo um, River. And that's where the Royal Saint is in Akosombo. And this was inaugurated by the first presence of Ghana. So, early post-colonial days. And then the maintenance was done um, by the other presidents, the past presidents of His Excellency John, John Dramani Mahama. And then from here, you can see that there are a lot of other um, resorts that you can go to. So going to Akosombo is definitely worth it. Even if you don't, you don't want to go to Royal Senchi, you can go to different places that are also beautiful. And they all offer this kind of boat cruises as well. So just go there and explore, all right? And sunset here is amazing. I'm a freak of all four sunsets. So I love sunsets. And this place is where you can get beautiful, beautiful ones. Next day was dedicated to beauty, so I had to go get my nails done, my brows done, got my hair done as well, because once you do this, it's obvious that you were ready to get back to Germany. But after that, we went to the beach side, and this Vienna City, Labadi Beach, was a Labadi Beach Hotel, we went to, um, then we left the place and came out to where the beach was more open, and it was worth it, it was worth it, just spend the evening there, so the mosquitoes came, but yeah, it was nice. So basically after the beach we just continued bar hopping then we went to Osu and then from Osu we spent half the day in Osu and then from there we went to Ibri and then after Ibri hmm? we went back home and packed our stuff yeah. and went straight to the airport and then back to Germany. So guys that is the end of the Ghana series. I have everything in a playlist so check out the playlist i'm going to link it up uh in this uh, link section we so just go check go. out the playlist and then, yeah see you on my next <laughs> escapade ciao